All right, just a quick video outlining the cultic Pope-like influence Stephen Anderson has over the new IFB. Because in all reality, the I doesn't belong in the new IFB because there's no independence whatsoever. All the puppet pastors are just offshoots and clones of Stephen Anderson. Some of them even look like him and talk like him. But you're going to see here that whenever one of these new IFB guys gets on Stephen Anderson's bad side, they lose all their members and have problems because, well... There's no independence. You see, the groups, because their churches are filled with people who are there because of Stephen Anderson, not because they're actually wanting to be part of an independent Baptist church. So here's a, a clip of a preacher named Wesley Tomlinson outlining this uh, cultic Pope-like influence Stephen Anderson has over the new IFB. The, the new in the fun, in, independent fundamental Baptist movement is Stephen L. Anderson. The headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona. And these churches, all of them have what we would call Andersonites in them. Meaning this, they're not following their pastor. They're not following their church. But they're listening to Stephen L. Anderson on the internet. And so if Stephen Anderson gets up today and he denounces a church and he says that this guy is a heretic, that this guy is preaching wrong, one of the churches in his movement, what happens is they lose all their members because they're not listening to the pastor. They're listening to Stephen L. Anderson. We, Stephen L. Anderson, we've had this happen right here in Tennessee where uh, Stephen Anderson got up and made a video about a man that was a preacher in a local New Testament church and what happened is Stephen Anderson got up and he rebuked this man in his church, actually kicked him out of the pulpit, said that he was not fit to preach. They come against him with railing accusations and threw the man of God out of the pulpit and so got him another pastor that was in compliance with Stephen L. Anderson and that would follow the orders from, from headquarters. And so when Stephen Anderson steps up, sets up, and he marched one of these preachers and he says something to one of these preachers saying that they're heretics, what happens is that they lose members. Yeah, that's not independent in any sense of the word. That's a cult. And, he, and these pastors are not independent Baptist pastors. They're just puppet pastors of Stephen Anderson. And the, the best example I like to cite was it was actually the example that got me to leave the new IFB cult back in 2019 was when Romero had to step down from Steadfast Baptist Church and Stephen Anderson waltzes in and essentially picks Jonathan Shelley as the pastor. And when someone asks, hey, can we vote on it? He just says, no, essentially I've already picked the pastor. So it just shows that it's not an independent church in any sense of the word. It's just simply an offshoot of his cult out there in Phoenix, Arizona. And these puppet pastors are just simply parroting Anderson's talking points. And oftentimes in a sermon, hardly like any kind of, hardly like, you know, they can hardly get through a sermon without mentioning Pastor Anderson or referencing Pastor Anderson as some kind of like, you know, it's always just Pastor Anderson, Pastor Anderson. I show that in other videos. But that's not independent. That's just simply the Pope-like control and influence Stephen Anderson has over the new, the new IFB. If there was no Stephen Anderson, there would be no new IFB. That's the truth of the matter. So just showing that it is a cult, and most of these guys don't even, don't even meet the qualifications in First Timothy, First Timothy 3, verse 1 to 7, and Titus 1, verse 5 to 9. A lot of these guys are very immature and childish and mimic the kind of behavior of Stephen Anderson that he displays. So I've shown that in other videos as well. So don't be deceived by this cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.